One variation on the algebra on rectangles puzzle is to allow the squares to be dates. So for example, up in the right corner, we have a hint that the students can create for themselves. They're creating their own puzzles here. So this is the hint that this student has given. Scott dies returning from the South Pole. So in this case, there is only one answer, and that is 1912. But for example, down here, we have the Taj Mahal is being constructed. Well, it wasn't only constructed in one year. So this square is less precise. So the students can play around with giving exact historical hints and imprecise historical hints, as well as numerical answers. Like right here, we have 760. So there's, it doesn't all have to be these visual clues. The best of these puzzles is guaranteed to be engaging, and it's a fun way to link math and history. When you're setting your students the task of creating these puzzles, they need to have a repertoire of possible uh, square solutions to begin with. And the best site on the internet for that is www.squaring.net, and I prefer to go to this part of the website, and then I can choose, for example, this rectangle. The largest square in it is 805, and the smallest is 155. So I can press that, and then I can hit draw, and it draws that rectangle for me with all of the squares. The person that we have to thank for creating this brilliant website that allows students to create some of the most beautiful puzzles that they're ever going to create in junior high is Stuart Anderson. Thank you, Stuart. Thank you.